all right guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a bit of transfer news please bear with me i've got a bit of a you know tickly cough so <coughs> if i start coughing halfway through that's why but um today's video there's a bit of transfer news there's quite a bit to be honest now the first bit is obviously andy carroll i'm sure a lot of you might already be aware of the ongoing situation with carroll we signed him um as a free agent and there was a lot of before we signed to be honest including myself i didn't think it was a very ambitious signing however when he came into the team every single week he worked his he worked his absolute socks off it was absolutely brilliant for us okay he didn't score 15 20 dollars 10 15 dollars whatever but you know he worked hard and he seemed to be like one of the only players what cared this season however steve bruce has confirmed to the striker that he will be released at the end of the season um, and he won't feature in the next two games against Reading and Barnsley. <coughs> now, in my opinion, from what I'm reading, um, I heard that Andy Carroll was demanding like £20,000 a week, which I think, you know, if if he, if that is true, then I can see why the club don't want to, you know, sign him on. You know, he's getting on a bit now. Um, he's, he's getting quite old and, you know, you don't really want to be paying that sort of money for a player who is so old really and you know we've already got a lot of players on the wage bill who are on excessive wages you know we don't want to keep adding to that so in my opinion i think it's a smart move steve bruce also said that he wouldn't suit the squad's rebuild i don't know who he's signing but it sounds like there's going to be a mass rebuild at west brom you know having listened to like the baddies baggies broadcast from joe massey and stuff like that so it does look like we're going to move a lot of players on and sign a lot of new players as well. Now, like I mentioned, if Carroll is demanding 20k a week, then I can see why we're going to get rid of him. But I wish him the best of luck. You know, he was decent for us. Um, now, the second bit of news is um, the Express. By the way, Steve Madley from The Athletic confirmed that news about Carroll. And then Joe Massey came out and said it was true. Um, then the second bit of news is regarding David Button um, as you're aware Steve Bruce has come out recently and said that a lot of players need to move closer to the training ground if they want to feature in the squad which I agree with to be honest you know I, I do agree with it and you know David Button was one of those who lived quite far away from the, the training facilities um, he's got a family home in Brighton but apparently according to the Express and Star we're very close to agreeing a new deal for David Button, which would mean he would have to relocate closer to the the training ground before the contract. <coughs> Sorry, guys, before the contract is signed. Um, but it does look like that will happen. And to be honest, he's a half decent keeper. Got no problems with that. He's half decent when he's come in. And obviously, Sam Sam Johnson's not going to be there next season, which is a shame. But who cares if you don't want to be there we don't want to be there now the last bit of news is regarding jed wallace he's a free agent in the summer a uh, very good player in my opinion you know bruce has come out and well there's a lot of reports saying that the main place bruce wants to bolster in the summer is the midfield you know we don't have that many good midfielders to be completely honest you know we've got you know the likes of sawyers who could come back potentially um, but there isn't that many options and even the options what we do have aren't brilliant um, Jed Wallace, you know, former Wolves man <coughs> I'd be happy with this one, a free agent uh, I think he's 28 years of age, don't quote me on that But I do know that uh, he's a, he's a half-decent player You know, he's contributed for Millwall consistently with goals and assists in the Championship and I wouldn't be against his signing whatsoever. I think it'd be a good option for us. There's a lot of options out there um, who are free agents in the summer who Albion could go for. And I do think we'll see a lot of free agents come through the door. I don't think the club will spend absolutely millions. But even saying that, you know, even if you sign someone on a free transfer, you've still got fees to pay. You've still got, you know, wages and stuff to pay. And I'm really looking forward to seeing who we bring in. <coughs> And who goes this summer? I do think there'll be a massive rebuild in place, which I'm excited for. And who knows, maybe some exciting times ahead. But 
guys if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you at reading tomorrow guys for the final away day of the season come on you baggies